time is starting to run out for the Biden administration to reach its latest vaccine goal. And while the White House pleads with Americans to get the vaccines, countries overseas are starting to require them in order for visitors to travel. I'm Sydney Stalwart. Thanks for staying with us. Kevin Cork has more on the vaccine rollout at home and abroad. President Biden continuing to urge more people to get vaccinated. His goal, of course, is having 70% of U.S. adults at least partially vaccinated by the 4th of July. And that comes as roughly 62% have already gotten at least one shot. And the White House is hoping to inspire more folks to roll up their sleeves with hops. Partnering with Anheuser-Busch to get everyone 21 years and up a round of beer if Biden achieves this goal. If you're unvaccinated, you are still at risk. But getting vaccinated may get you more than just a free beer. It could also help you get a ticket overseas, as a growing number of countries in the European Union are now implementing vaccine passports. In fact, at least seven countries, including Greece, Germany, Poland, and Croatia, have started issuing COVID certificates, with more countries expected to join in the coming weeks. To get one, travelers must either be fully vaccinated or prove they've developed COVID-19 antibodies from previously contracting the virus. Meanwhile, back in the U.S., even as some states like Texas and Florida have banned vaccine passports, this bar in Chicago is requiring customers to be fully vaccinated in order to enter. The decision was based on being able to operate at full capacity without having to worry about occupancy. And overseas, European Union officials are hoping that by getting people to be fully vaccinated, that'll actually help improve tourism. The thinking is people will want to come if they don't have to quarantine once they reach their final destination. In Washington, I'm Kevin Cork, Fox News.